Hello and welcome to another video using products from That's Crafty. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use the crackle glaze which is a one step process to produce beautiful cracks in your crafting projects. So to show you how this process works I'm going to be starting off with two colours. It's best to have like contrasting colours, a light and a dark colour. So first of all I'm just going to apply these and these are acrylic paints. So I'm just going to apply these to two bits of cardboard. So we're going to go for the darker colour on one and the lighter colour on the other. on to the next step just make sure that the pieces that you're going to be painting are completely dry so this is basically the base layer so once your base layer has completely dried then it's time to use the crackle glaze so just remove the lid and give it a really good stir I'm actually using a little metal spatula here because it's quite a thick product and I think that if you were to use a plastic spatula then it may well snap so make sure you thoroughly mix that, okay, like so, and then using a flat brush, just apply it over the top of your original base coat. So I'm just going over the entire surface with my brush just to make sure that the crackle glaze coat is as even as possible. Then once you have those you can actually force dry them using a craft heat tool. When you use the heat tool just be sure that you don't actually put the nozzle of the heat tool too close to the crackle glaze otherwise it will bubble up. When the glaze is actually dried, if you just look on this one here, we've got a very, very shiny piece just here. That's where the glaze is still wet. And then you've got this, it's just sort of a, a more of a matte finish to it, but still a little bit glossy. And that's when you know it's dry. So once it's completely dry like that, then it's the time to paint the second coat. But before I do that, I'm just going to dry the second piece of card with a darker base colour on exactly the same just make sure that you don't put the heat tool nozzle too close to the glaze so once it's fully dry and just a little bit tacky okay because that's how it dries then you can apply your top coat now what you'll notice when I apply the paint is I'm not going over the same piece more than about two times So the idea is here is if you want really pronounced cracks then you put a real thick coat of the paint but if you want really thin cracks then just go for a thinner coat of paint and you can go in whatever direction you like make it a little bit more random and like I said if possible don't go over the same piece you painted more than two times. So there we go, let's just keep on applying that, a couple of different directions. So these are quite thick coats, okay, and then we can just 
let that one crack away. So you can see where I've gone in two directions, the cracks here are going in this way and the majority of the cracks in this section are coming this way and that just purely depends which way I've actually brushed the paint on. So you can leave that one to dry or you can force dry it again, don't apply the nozzle of the heat tool too close to the paint. So now I'm going to paint onto the lighter undercoat, okay, and again try not to go over the same area you've painted too many times and again just go in a couple of different directions just to make the cracks a little bit more random. So as you can see here are the results from our little experiment. So you can see where I've applied the lighter undercoat with the darker on top. You get those beautiful white cracks coming through and completely opposite of this one where we put the darker undercoat, then we put the crackle glaze, then we put the light coat on top, you get the dark cracks coming through.